it goes. So welcome to my channel, Explained Logic. Now on here, I'm going to voice my opinion on matters and explain the logic behind my thinking. Now, you probably won't agree with some things I say because a lot of people on the internet are very opinionated. Um, I don't feel I am, I kind of just go with what I feel and don't join up like, for example, PlayStation vs Xbox fanboys and things like that. So, I haven't played too much of this so far. Um, I can't do animations, so I'm just going to kind of show pictures and shit. So, hopefully, hopefully you'll understand what's going on. Um, yeah, so, the first thing I want to talk about, um, just kind of as an introductory thing, is just going to be like a wee kind of experience that I had a couple of days ago at the hairdressers, and getting a haircut is fine, got nothing wrong with it, but the hairdryer, it's just one thing I cannot stand. Like. I don't know why, but, but whenever, like, air is blowing into my face, I have an uncontrollable urge just to, like, kind of stop breathing. Like, um, my throat sort of closes up and I can't, like, breathe in, can't breathe out, I just kind of sit there, <laughs> can't really do anything, half choking. But, um, like, this is the thing, though, when you, you get your hair cut if the hairdresser uses a hairdryer, it only hits you in the face for 20 seconds of the whole time that they do it, which is nothing. But um, yeah, this last time that I went, usually the place that I used to go to, um, the hairdryer was always in a drawer, which won't make any sense to you guys right now. Just be like, okay, whatever, that's cool, that's what you do, I guess. But um, this other place that I went to a couple of days ago had it hanging on the wall. So uh, if you look at this picture here, you'll see like the big blue rectangle, which is like the mirror that when you sit there, you can look into it and look back and everything, kind of like, you know, you always do. Uh, the green circle is about where your face would be if you're sitting in the chair looking into it. So it wasn't a very big mirror, it was quite, you know, tall, but some of it was under like the little table, which is the grey rectangle, which is like where the scissors and shit sit. And then obviously the other picture there is the hairdryer, and that is what it was like. Except it was vertical, not horizontal like that. But yeah, it was just hanging on the wall there. And, like, I just, now, after all the years of this uncontrollable, not breathing, throat closing up thing with the air, I don't I have this hate for the thing. So I sat there for 15 minutes, I think it was, 20 minutes, during this haircut, staring this thing down. Like, it has honestly, like, murdered some small animals or something. Like, it was intense. This went on for, honestly, like, 15, 20 minutes of just a stare down. And, like, no one else seemed to notice, which was good. And the lady who was cutting my hair didn't seem to realise. But I don't know anyone behind me if they were looking in the mirror or anything. But my eyes... Instead of looking in the mirror, looking at my head and my hair and how it's getting cut, just off to the right there, staring this thing down. And, yeah, now when I think back over it, it was weird and I have no idea why I did it. <laughs> I think it's just kind of funny that, yeah, just sitting there, staring down something that only makes you uncomfortable for like 20 seconds. So, yeah, this is just going to be, that's going to be my story, right there. There's not much else to say after that. <laughs> yeah, so, that's that's it for the story. Um, just a little introductory first episode type thing. Just a random short experience that I had. Um, so, let me know what you think, what I can improve on, what I should do. Um, I'm probably just going to chuck up whenever I have like something funny or something interesting like this happen. I'll make a thing for it and put it up, or if I hear about something and I get an opinion on it, I'll put it up here and le like listen to what you guys think. Uh, yeah, having little fights in the comments like everyone seems to do on here. So um, yeah, if I don't have anything, you should just drop some suggestions in the comments of what I can um, talk about, what I can give you my opinion on, and yeah, start some fights. Thanks for listening guys, we'll see you next time.